Millions of people around the world come to CrossFit gyms like Sky's Limit in Kansas City. But for one local man, a split second movement changed the rest of his life. And when he tried to lift it, he felt something snap in his back and collapsed. Jonas Barish's lawyer says his client ruptured a disc doing this exercise, a deadlift. The coach had never mentioned anything about injury in doing these lifts or risks involved. Barish's lawyer says the injury threatened partial paralysis and loss of bowel and bladder function. He says the repercussions will be lifelong. He can't do any impact uh, activity, so he can't even jog. Uh, without a lot of pain. In a landmark case, Barish filed a lawsuit against Sky's Limit CrossFit and the national entity CrossFit Incorporated and won. It's the first time since CrossFit's inception that the national organization has lost a lawsuit. I take it personally because he's coming my integrity into play. Sky's Limit owner um, Ronnie Oswald maintains he did nothing but, wrong um, and says people need to know their limits. If you're going to get hurt doing that movement, Clearly, you have to go way too heavy and do it wrong, which is exactly what happened that day. The lawsuit claims Oswald encouraged Barish to attempt the heavy lift. This is about how much weight was on the rack when Barish injured himself. It's about 350 pounds, and the gym owner says that he pushed himself too far, actually going against his instructions. Told him to do a, a percentage based off what he'd done before. He said, okay, so that would be around 175 pounds. The jury put half the blame on Barish and 25% on both Sky's Limit and CrossFit Inc. Both sides say it comes down to the trust you place in your coach. I told the jury, everybody knows if you lift weights you can get hurt. The question is, do you know that you can end up in emergency surgery and a lifelong injury when you're doing something that a coach is instructing you to do? When you listen to your coach and you do what you're told, you don't get hurt. Emily Welsh, KNBC 9 News. CrossFit Incorporated is appealing the ruling. So far, they have not responded to our request for comment. There are 42 CrossFit gyms in the Kansas City area. To become a certified CrossFit gym, you must complete a two-day training course and pay a $3,000 annual fee. CrossFit Incorporated does not oversee those gym operations. We talked to a sports medicine specialist at the University of Kansas Hospital to get his take on CrossFit's dangers versus benefits. Dr. Scott Mullen says he often sees hip and shoulder injuries with CrossFit. He did not treat the patient in the lawsuit and says extreme injuries like his are more rare. His main message is to modify the workouts for your level and know your limits. A lot of the workouts are done under timed situations where you're trying to do as many reps or as, as much uh, uh, weight as possible in a certain amount of time. And so if you don't do it with the correct form or you have some underlying problems to begin with, then uh, you're at increased risk for getting injured. Dr. Mullen says CrossFit is an efficient way to exercise but urges people to focus on doing the moves properly rather than risk injury.